This is a 2 by one ribbed collar on the KH930. This is a no-fold collar. I'm putting on waste yarn onto my cast-on comb. I will knit five or six rows and then I will set up my garter carriage to knit a circular cast-on. I am using tension six for the collar. You need to take note that I have my machine in KRC. I am reversing the setting for the machine so that my knitwear is backwards. The way I'm going to attach the collar to the knitwear is kind of unique and you'll, you'll see what I mean when this is all done. I did a voiceover while I was making the video and of course it didn't come through on my laptop this time. In order to do the circular um, cast on or e-wrap cast on using the garter carriage you need to press the Mimo button and here I'm showing you what pattern I'm using and then I will press the Mimo button again and move my garter carriage up to where the needles start and insert my yarn. After the first couple rows, I paused the video and I let the garter carriage knit 10 rows and then I come back on the video and we start knitting two purl rows using the garter carriage by turning off the machine and removing the edge markers.
And now I will show you what it looks like from in front. I just moved the camera for a few seconds and you can see why I wanted the two by one rib on this side of the work. Because now it matches what I've done on the actual sweater. At this point I have removed the garter carriage and now I've put the regular carriage back on the machine and I am now describing how I'm going to attach the sweater to the collar. As you can see I have the right side facing the collar and I have put the sweater all the way on. I've also taken this time to weave in all of my ends that way I don't have to do it after I've already finished seaming the piece. And it really works slick. The carriage is now in tension 10 and I knit across and now I'm going to do a back stitch. I like a long tail for my back stitch so I do four rounds around the length of the work that I've done and then I start the back stitch. I'm going to take a few minutes to try and show you to my best ability how I backstitch. It is really hard with this camera and the lack of angles to show you properly how you put the needle in and weasel it through the loops to make a perfect backstitch. I try several different angles so hopefully one of them actually shows you what you need to know. And yeah, the whole length of this is backstitched. It really makes it springy and able to move and, and it's really good for kids sweaters. On this angle you can kind of see how I put the needle through the next loop and then I manipulate the loop behind it so that the blunt needle goes through the loop that is there. When I'm all done this piece off camera I will start removing the waste yarn and you'll see that in a couple minutes here. Here's a nice close-up of the collar. Next up, button band. <laughs> 